Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Alicia. If this is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. All right, guys, we are back with another shopping wow curvy. If you're new here, Shopping While Curvy is a series that I started last year that showcases all the different places, brands, stores that I shop at while I am at my curvy figure. For those that are also new here, I started out the Shopping While Curvy back when I was a size 12, 14, depending on where you are, a 16. I am currently smooth in between a size 8 to 10. So let's just get into it so if you've been around for a while you know that i normally talk about the different stores that i shop at give you guys a little try on haul what i shop at what i don't shop at the next couple of videos are going to be new here's why if you have been watching my vlogs you know that of course i've just told you guys before when i started the series and now that i am right now i am a different size than i was last spring and summer as such 90% of my spring and summer clothing that I had, I have had to give away. Could I have gotten it altered? Yes, but the prices that I'm getting for her to take me from a size 14 to a size 8, I might as well just give them to someone who is truly a 14 and can appreciate the sizes and then just buy new stuff. Also, it was one of those goals where once I hit my goal weight, there were a lot of things that I planned to buy for myself. Not anything expensive, but basically a new spring and summer wardrobe. So that is where we are. The next couple of videos are going to be places that I am trying for the first time. I have never shopped at these places or if I have, it has been a while and I don't know what the clothing is going to look and feel like. Hey Alicia, how are you getting these stores that you're using to pick from? Good question. I am either taking your comments from the uh, different videos that I've shown before the shopping wall curvy or what I have been doing, especially for the next two that are coming up, is I follow a lot of really, 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 really great influencers that just also happen to be curvy. And so when I'm looking at their photos, I'm looking at their outfits, I'm taking a note on the brands that they're tagging, the stores that they're tagging, and that is where this one is coming from. So Today's retailer, as you guys can probably tell from the description or from the title, is Lulu's. So for those that aren't familiar with Lulu's, because I was, I'm being honest, I thought it was a store not for my color or my shape, and I'll let you do what you want to do with that. But I went on to Lulu's, and one of the first things that I do is I like to go to do or see if they have any like history. Apparently, Lulu started over on the West Coast as a store and then they decided to do um, go online and then somewhere between 2008 and 2010 they sold all of their brick and mortar stores and went completely online and I pulled up let's see yeah in 2005 they went online in 08 they sold their brick and mortar stores 2010 they began their influencer program to build their brands 13 they did an endowment um 2016 celebrated 20 years in business 2018 launched some basics six they've done a lot of brand collaborations and that's where i thought that lulu's wasn't really for me because some of the brand collaborations i had seen they didn't look like me so i was like oh, okay got it i thought i like i kind of pushed them over where vici collection was i'm just like oh, okay not really my store or whatever okay and then um, 2019 Fulfillment Center and then 2021. Oh, they're a public company. Hmm. Screenshot that. I like to invest in brands that I use, i.e. Ulta, Sephora. Buy some stocks, guys. Um, anyway, so that's where we are. So we went online and the different thing about this video. One second. I have never shopped Hulu's, Hulu, I have never shopped Lulu before. Not only is this gonna be my first time shopping Lulu, we are doing first time, real time, try on impressions. So I got, I wanna say I got a total, I tried to get a little bit of everything. I got a total of nine items. The two things that I did not get is I did not get denim. I went online and the denim, they had a couple of free people denim, but for the most part, I didn't know the brand. Um, so I'm assuming it's their, I didn't know the brand, but the price was anywhere between like 78 up to like $90. And in my head, I'm like, I kind of only want to spend that amount of money 
for someone that is known for denim or the denim jeans are like amazing for instance the free people barrel jeans they're not free people isn't really known for denim but when they do make like items like that it's amazing point is these were and it's not like these were like extravagant jeans they just look like regular straight look like there was nothing fancy about these jeans which is why i didn't invest my money in jeans and then i did not buy a skirt correct yeah so i bought a couple i bought a tee i bought a blouse i bought a bodysuit i bought two different um sets one short set and then one a pants set i bought a pair of trousers and then a dress so i'm gonna go through and i'll as we're doing the, the whole try on guys i'm gonna let you know what size i got how the fit looks like how the fit feels all that kind of stuff so this one's like i said it's going to be not really interactive because you guys can't talk with me but a little bit more in depth than when i normally sit down here and be like i shop this brand for this and i might occasionally pop up a try on we're doing a full-on try on haul so let me adjust this camera and let's get started All right, because I already have on jeans and I'm pretty comfortable with how these jeans fit, we're going to try on the tops first. I got this in a medium. Does it say what it is? Let me pull up. And I'll pull up, I'll put up the model um, so you guys can see it, but this looks like a little cute corset type top it looks like you can wear it off the shoulder i really got this because i want to be in like a little and like you know how to do like jeans and a cute top that used to be my era for so long and then we kind of got sidetracked with trousers well i'm trying to bring that back especially for the summer for the summer i just want to be effortlessly chic and comfortable like i don't want to have to put on too much i don't want to have to do too much i just want to be able to just go so let me try this on okay all right so this is what we are looking like i like it i like i said if i am a 36c and the, the tits don't like poke out too much for me um it's kind of giving me a little peplum right here so this is definitely like a little cute um top if you are bloated or if you just want to be comfortable and this is what i mean like this cute with a pair of sneakers not a pair of sneakers a pair of sandals course we're going to do a ton of jewelry because you've got all this right here but oh it's got like that in the back too oh my gosh oh they have two alicia do not cut your top I'm trying to cut these things off so we have the front like i said this is elastic so this is it's super nice the weight feels comfortable it doesn't feel too tight doesn't feel too loose this is what the back looks like I'll be able to easily wear um, a strapless bra or if I just want to wear some pasty, that's fine. But I think I can be able to get away with a strapless bra depending on where the straps fit with the current bra. Can you see my bra on the back? Maybe a little bit. So I honestly could wear a straps bra and just kind of tuck it in i'll probably am going to do a strap but just because i don't want to have to worry about is my strap showing here's my strap showing there so 62 percent rayon 32 percent nylon and six percent spandex and it has a little bit of a lining right here and that is 100 percent polyester so yeah i love it so we are definitely keeping this one okay let's move on to the next are all of my tops white i got all white tops Let's move to the next time. Okay, nothing fancy about this one. I do like the little bit of ruching here. So this one is called um, their Simply a Vibe Ivory Ruched Short Sleeve Crew Neck Top. And this one was $29. And I got this one also in a medium. We have 95% cotton, 5% spandex. Here's the thing. There's nothing like extravagant about this but it's one of those where i compare it with anything it's one of those where it's literally a blank canvas jeans shorts trousers a skirt 
whatever you want to put with it i i think i just really liked the ruching that we have going on right here it's just a really nice top nothing like i said super fancy it's just it's cute so yeah 29 dollars. i think i'm gonna keep it i wish you guys could feel the way that this top feels <laughs> through this camera where are my scissors we can go ahead we can go ahead and take this off because this is staying with us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now the caveat is I wish it had more colors. So this is the undeniable class ivory cowl neck long sleeve bodysuit. And this was on clearance. Oh, I couldn't take it back anyway. It was on clearance for $19. Um yeah, final sale, no returns or exchanges. You don't have to worry about it because I am not sending this back. This is 95% rayon and 5% spandex. There is a lining, which is why you guys can't, it's not sheer. And that's also 95% rayon, 5% spandex. Here's the thing. I love that the bodice part of this bodysuit, I also don't have it all the way clipped in. So it's probably why it's like, see, it's a lot going on. But once I actually probably clip it in, it'll be a little bit more like, tighter down here um i love that the bodice in this is is lined so i don't have to worry about my bra showing but the actual sleeves are not lined so it's really really nice light weight i feel like it's a great lightweight bodysuit for the spring and summer even for the south now when it comes to like june and july i'm probably not gonna be able to wear this with jeans it'll be trousers or shorts type of feel but it just feels so good i hate they only have this in a cream color it gives me the nice cowl neck i don't even know what that was called but it's a cowl neck here i'm normally like a v-neck kind of girl but i love this whole cowl neck because it still gives a little bit of um uh, introduction to the jewelry it's just so far this is my favorite item so we're three for three, which I'm surprised. Like I said, I normally I normally strike out when it comes to these kind of online stores, especially ones I haven't tried before. We're three for three. I like it. All right, we're going to try because I only have two of the two other sets, and then I have a pair of trousers. Let's try the trousers right now. Okay, so I think we found our first return. Let me sit you guys down. So, these are the trousers. Um, these are the Refined Mood Taupe and White Straight Leg Trouser Pants. I was unsure what sizing um, Lulu's had, so I did order most of all of my trousers in a large because it's easier for me to take in the waist than to have to take them back. Here's the thing. I don't like the way that they hit at the bottom. It's like, let me show you. See if I can bring this down just a tad. And I'm only five, four and a half. And I feel like the more that I walk, I'm gonna make sure you guys can see them. The more that I walk, it feels like they're like two seconds from being high waters. I'm five, four and a half. Like I'll pop up the pop up the model picture. Is she five feet? Cause why are they so long on her? And I look, there is no regular tall short. It's just one size but is it because maybe my thighs are taking up more of the fabric i don't know but i feel for 50 dollars i need to be comfortable and so in my head i need to be able to wear these at least 15 times to get my money worth and i don't see myself putting these on 15 times just because of the way like they it's they're they're at an uncomfortable like they hit the they hit my ankle yes but they don't hit the floor and i like my pants to hit the floor they're also doing something I don't know I feel like I mean I could get them taken in but I don't know I feel like for the trouble we're just gonna go ahead and send these send these back so this is the first this is the first no so all right next we are going to try on the we might as well while we're already doing trousers because these might have to go back to I bought a trouser and vest set so we're going to try that on all right, you remember when I said we were 3 and 0 when we first tried the tops? The pants were no, so now we're 3 and 1. And this set is a hell no. So now we're even at 3 and 3. You remember when I said at the beginning of the video, I don't know if it's made for people like curves like me. I I I I think I'm 
I think I'm gonna stand correct. I think we're just gonna get tops from here. So whew, I don't even want to show you guys, but listen, this is this is the real, okay? This is the top. I got the top in a medium, like I got all the other tops in a medium. I'm 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 like pushing out of this top like I was in a triple G. What's going on here? This is a medium. These are the pants. Here's the thing. I like the fit kind of sort of up here. It's a little tight. I'm also wearing a large because that's the size that they said to get on the size guide. Who's wearing these pants? Y'all see these pants? They're high waters on me. High. Not even the cute high waters that they're trying to make the girls feel like are trendy, but it's really not. But I got it if you're with the trends. This ain't even trendy. This is what is going on here? What is going on? I don't feel comfortable with anything that I have on. This thing is tight. I've got my back handles over here just like chilling on the side of the vest. Didn't think I had those anymore. Clearly I do. Or this top is showing me that I do. I'm getting the, these are clearly pants that aren't meant for people that have hips and thighs because this is this stretching right here. This normally doesn't happen when you cater to women who have curves and thighs. It just doesn't happen. So, this is the back. And we're going to put this back in the thing. It came separate. So, I paid uh, 49 for this top and 59 for the pants. So, we're going to send this back. I'm a little nervous, but we're already here now. Let's try on the short set that I have that I got as well. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. We're 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 now we're now over 500. We're now we're counting these separate because I paid for them separate. We're five and three, and I am introducing not a big color, but like a color I kind of wanted to try, and I like this set. So let me bring you guys down. This is a vest with the shorts I got a large in both so clearly you, I'll show you but the the looseness of these does not match the loose I don't know what whatever that's I guess that's why they have returns child so this is the short set um, like I said I got it in a large in both the top and the bottom this is the charismatic entrance navy blue linen. I got the high-waisted shorts and then the linen collar vest top. They were both $49 a piece. This is so cute. I I absolutely love this. Especially, oh, let me show you. Like for the 4th of July, only because I see it right here. How cute is this? But like some cute white, I have a pair of like white cream Toy Bird sandals. This is so cute. I love it as a two piece, but then it also kind of like looks like a romper. The pant, the waist is probably a smidge too big, but I know, or a smidge too tight, but I know it's going to give as I wear it because it's linen. Linen always gives the more that you wear it. Y'all, this is a look. Sorry, I had to hold it so that I could screenshot it for the cover photo. <laughs> This is cute. Okay. All right. We're back. Now we're only having to take back three items. The fit feels amazing. Let me show you, give you guys the material makeup because I don't know if it's 100% linen, but let me confirm that. This is 20% Vicols, 10, no, 70% Vicols, 20% linen, 10% polyester. Those are the shorts and then the top. Probably is going to have similar makeup for it. Hello. The top is same thing. 70, 20, 10, Vicos, poly, Vicos linen and polyester. So, okay. All right, we're back. Okay, so the last thing, in case you haven't decided, I am going to keep both of these two pieces. And then the last thing that I have is a dress. So let me try that on for you. All right, I'm on the fence about this one. And maybe by the time I'm editing this, I will let you actually, no, I'm not gonna keep it. It just fits. It, it, it looks better on the, I don't know, something's missing. Something's missing. 
I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe they should have had this as a v-neck. I kind of don't really like all of this up here. Like I said, I'm normally a v-neck kind of girl. And this, without any extra something, it just looks very plain Jane. Um, but anyway, so this is the dress. Why do I keep misplacing my phone? Um, I got it in a large this is the lulu strolls sage green ruched short sleeve midi dress and this was 55 dollars. so yeah i think this is gonna go back um 95 percent cotton five percent spandex and they do have a lining under this which is 100 percent polyester something is missing i don't know what's missing i feel like i would have to do a lot to use this up whether that be go a little extra with the makeup, put on more jewelry than I normally put on. You guys normally know I stack that. Um, I think it's this area that normally ruching is supposed to, though it does call attention to the area that it's ruching, it also is supposed to enhance it or minimize it at the same time. And that's why normally you see like ruching in the middle or you see ruching on the sides. Having the ruching right here kind of calls attention to this area in a way that's not attractive and it's not, it, it's, it, it's, it's attracting the attention in the wrong way. Like I feel like it, it, I don't like it. I don't know what word I'm looking for. The word left me, but it's this part that I don't really like. It's just, for me, it feels like a very plain Jane dress. And for $55, I could get three of these dresses at Pretty Little Thing. So this is going to be a no. This is going to be a no. So this wraps up the tr real time try on portion of this video. I think we have decided I'm keeping the three blouses, the pants set, which is five, then I'm taking back three. So this, no, four. Yeah. This set, the two-piece set, and then the trousers. So I'm five for four. And it's this part of the video where I'm supposed to be giving you guys a summary, but I think it's clearly evident I'm going to avoid trousers and pants, and that also means jeans. I'll probably just stick with Lulu's more so for tops and if I delve into dresses it'll be more spandexy feel but what happened to the footage I don't know. I will have everything linked for you guys in the description box. As always guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe but I'm going to catch you guys Thursday 7 o'clock. Later.